Hey guys, welcome to part three of this tutorial. So uh, we have already done part one and part two. The part one was to design login register and dashboard. We have added and configured LegoKit. Now it's time to register and log in our user. So let's get started. We have already created this one and the activity to register a user. So within uh, register activity, I'm going to have a public void register user as a method. And then I'm going to call do a call. That is ensure that you select rate right of fit. We have different options. We have telecom, Africa HTK3, but we are going to use rate right of fit. And we're expecting a response of registered response. In this one, I'm going to call it register response call, which is equal to our API client, which is here, dot get service. And then our method is register user. Here we are going to create this method. We are going to give it a parameter, register user, register user. So here I'm going to have register user. I'm going to queue this call, register user, request, register response, call.queue, new callback, and it gives me two methods, that is on response and on failure. So on failure, I'm going to toast, dot make text, and I'm going to take register activity dot this, and I'm going to have the messages it's our string message, which will be t.get localized message. I'm going to have message toast dot length long dot show. Then within our response, we have to, we are going to say if response dot is successful. Else, if the response is not successful, I'm also going to show a message. Enable to register user. An error card, please try again later. An error card. Please try again later. Then when the response is successful, I'm going to say toast dot make. I'm going to have this one copy it, paste it here. So the message should be registration successful. Then we show the toast message and the direct user to sign in activity. So I'm going to have start activity, new, intent. So I'm moving from register activity to this. And then I'm going to go to login activity dot class. And I can finish up with this activity. Let's, okay, so register activity here. So I'm going to have Button sign up dot set on click listener. We have new view. Let's create register request. Register request. Register request is equal to new register request. So register request dot set on click listener. Oh, set email. We have ed email dot get text dot string. Register request dot set password. ed password dot get text dot to string. And then finally, I'm going to have register request here. So let's try and do the registration. One thing you have to make sure is that you have to fill all these details and add a check. If you have not filled, then we can post another message. But 
Uh, at this instance, let's try and see if we can be able to register a user. Run again. Okay, create a user. So we are going to have learn 204. The email I'm going to have is learn 204.gmail.com. I'm also going to have pass at one, two, three. And this one pass at one, two, three. Then I'm going to create sign up an error card. Please try again later. So as you can see, it's saying the field username is required. So we didn't post username. Let's see, yes. So let's add that one. Register request. Dot set username. And we have pd username dot get text get to string. Let's actually do even the validation. If text util dot is empty, pd email dot get text. to stream all text util dot is empty in the username dot get text dot to stream all text util dot is empty and we have id password dot get text dot to stream all even text util dot is empty pdc password dot get text dot to stream if any of them is empty i'm going to make a toast here and just say all inputs required else if we provide all that data then we can proceed with the registration okay so guys this is the importance of using http logger you can be able to see the request and the response in the development mode uh -huh. let's learn we are trying to create a new user I'm going to have learn 205. We have learn 205 at gmail.com. We have pass at 12. If I leave this one empty, we have all inputs required. Then we have pass at 12. Successful. And then we go to login activity. Let's see there is the console. We did a post to create a user. We get a response that is user 27. And then the data is ID, URL, username, first name, last name, email. Okay, now we go to the education activity. I'm going to do the same check. So I'm just going to copy this one. Paste it here, but for this one, I'm going to, to check ED username and ED password. So if any of them is empty, I'm going to post. This is login activity. Then here I'm going to create login request if you have provided the data. Then I'm going to have login request for set username, the username that get text that string. And then you have login request your set password did the password dot get text dot string and then I'm going to create a method so i'm going to have public void login user 
Then I'm going to have my call. Remember, it's left of page two. Expecting a response of login response. Then we have login response call is equal to new, not new. Actually, we are going to have API client dot get service dot login user. So I'm going to have login request here. And then I'm going to give it login request. Then I'm going to have login response call dot MQ. New call back response. And then I'll have response dot failure. To save time, what is happening on failure here? Same thing here. Then if response dot is successful, else this is login activity. Same message here. If it's successful, this is uh, I'm going to have login response. Login response is equals to response dot body. Then I'm going to have to start activity. New intent. And then I'm going to move from login activity to main activity. And I'm going to pass the name of the user as the data. And the data that I'm going to pass is login response. Finally, I'm going to finish up with this class. So within my main active, within the login response, for me to pass this data, I'm going to implement serializable. Okay, back to my login activity. There we are. In the main activity, I'm going to have to capture this data that is passed. Is equals to, let's start by defining intent. Intent, intent is equals to new intent. No, get intent. If intent dot, if intent, not equal to null. We have our login response here. Intent dot get the laser extra and are passing it with the name of data. And then I'm going to have, let's try and just log this one. Log.in tag login response dot get email. So let's learn our activity so that we can be able to see our changes. Let's learn it again. Now we did uh, create learn tech 205. The password was passed. One, two, three. Wait, wait. We didn't add this method, so we need when you create, then we can add login request. Let's learn again. Right now, it won't do anything. So we have LAN 5, 205, pass at 1, 2, 3. An error occurred, please try again later. Okay, maybe I used to pass at 1, 2. Successful, and we have our welcome here.
let's say on the logs if you have the username that is lante2205 at gmail.com so back to the main activity let's align this one let's remove that and also remove this and then i'm going to have id this one should be username i'm going to have text view username then i'm going to have username is equals to find view by id and .id .username. and then i'm going to set data there so i'm going to have username dot set text login response dot get username all right let's learn it so for this one let's try by creating a new one this one should be learn 206 learn 206 at gmail.com we have one two pass at one two pass at one two and then sign up successful and we go to login activity we have learn 206 pass at one two sign in and then we have learn 206 so that's all guys we have created register login activity and dashboard we have added and configured letter feed and finally we have created or registered a user and we're able to log in the user so the api you will I'll leave it in the description and if you have any question just comment below so thank you for watching and if you are new hit that subscribe button and if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up